This game is just about to get bang, begin. Um, this is the game uh, Nara versus um, Up Magic. Uh, one second while I get some information on this game. It seems this map is Nemesis and it is going to be a Protoss versus Terran. And this is, I think it's the Ace match. Let me sh let me check. This game was requested by KizBG. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He gave me a message, so let me check on YouTube. Okay, so here is his message uh, that kind of details what this game is. Um, let's see. The score is tied two to two. And both teams sent out their best players, Naura and Up Magic. And it's a very tense game and has lots of innovative play. And he thought it was simply amazing, so I'm expecting this to be a very good game. We see that um, both players are doing just regular stuff, scouting, um, etc. And I let me check. I, I I was looking on YouTube. So let me see what players are doing a little bit first. Mm -hmm. So I see that Up Magic, or otherwise known as C Up, uh, he is going to decide to make a wall at his ramp, which is pretty standard as well. Um, supply Depot, Supply Depot Barracks. So it's going to be able to stop early Zealot rushes, Zealot rushes. Um, any other kind of early rushes while he manages to get his factories up and also his other units. Now we see that the SCV is going to create a wall again and um, Naura is not going to be able to do much. I don't think he's going to be able to get inside the base uh, because of the wall but he is going to try and do some harassing on the SCVs. The SCV d is going to cancel and try and fend off that probe and so it was successfully successfully done and the probe is going to have to retreat as this SCV is just standing here waiting for the probe to come back and uh, in this matchup we're going to mostly see uh, Metal versus Dragoons, Reaver Drops, uh, Dark Templar, High Templar a lot of things that the Protoss can do and we see an early early expansion by Naura he's probably taking this advantage of getting an early expansion so he can get economy up and he knows this is a safe idea because of the fact that his opponent is doing a wall and the, usually when they do a wall they turtle in for a couple of minutes or they don't do as much I mean they turtle in until they do some scouting and you see that the scout SCV is not going the right direction it's gonna have to turn around and search the next base and the probe almost got in Oh, almost, almost got in. That was pretty nice by uh, Naura. He almost got in, but uh, the barracks managed to land just in time. And now we finally see the Cybernetics Core coming up. Uh, what will happen is Up Magic will probably see this, and he will try and attack. Maybe um, I don't know. He does not have much units yet. And what's very strange is he's getting an Engineering Bay and Academy at this point. Which means he will be getting some turrets and maybe some a lot of uh a lot of marines and medics. These work well against dragoons, but only in special circumstances when you have I mean when they have less than four. Because when they have four dragoons they pick off your marines in one shot <clears throat> if they focus fire. And uh <clears throat> I mean I can't think of any other reason to get to the academy other than scan which isn't really needed this early in the game I in my opinion but uh, I think he did scout the early expansion for uh, I think he did scout the early expansion that uh, was made by Naura so basically he's gonna take another expansion as well leaving his marines behind for defense and this probe is just gonna wait outside see if his opponent tries to attack or push out if the probe sees any any enemy units trying to attack he will probably make a wall or probably some units at his base and we see a bunker going up for up magic he's playing very defensively at this point in the game I don't know what he's quite scared of he's getting some upgrade with his uh, with his academy probably stim or uh, U-158 shells or whatever they're called 
Now, what you see, this Dragoon is going to start picking off this barracks. The Marines get a little bit extra range when they're inside the bunker, but not as much as a Dragoon. And we see that more and more Dragoons are coming up for uh, Naura. And this is the reason that Naura decided, or this is the reason that Up Magic decided to get a bunker. And what we see now is more bunkers, or more barracks going up, and uh, the barracks is going to be repaired. And probably what's going to happen now... Uh-oh! So, okay, so the uh, range shells were upgraded, so these Dragoons are not going to be able to try and do any picking off of the uh, enemy buildings until they get Singularity Charge, which I'm not sure if they have yet. I don't believe they have it yet. <clears throat> so we're probably definitely going to see uh, Up Magic doing some kind of uh, strange play. And we see a robotics facility going up for Naura. So I I'm not quite sure what's going to go on. He know Nara knows that his opponent. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone. Nara knows that his opponent is doing Marines because of the upgrade that he realized came up and the bunker. And uh, there's four barracks total for Up Magic at this point. So a good counter for this is probably going to be um, Reavers, which is what he's doing right now because Dragoons work well versus uh, Marines, but I'm not sure how well they fare against Marines, Medics, and Firebats. I mean, if if uh, he can't micro it very well, because I I don't know. It's kind of strange what both of these players are doing. Robotics facility. I mean, it, that's a counter to this. What what he's doing? There's already medics coming out. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I had a check. And then um, so very strange play by Up Magic. Nara probably already guesses this is what is going on. So he is going to decide to grab another expansion. And we see the robotic support uh, building for Nara. And Reavers will probably, will definitely be able to totally destroy all Marines that come out. And we're seeing some first person play by Nara right now. And I'll leave it silent for night for right now. As we watch his play. Okay. So we see now Ra is going to send some more Dragoons out. He's microing this as well as he can. So that these Marines don't do as much damage as they can. Lots of Dragoons now. These Dragoons are going to be definitely able to fend off these Marines. These Marines are going to go down pretty quickly. But I'm not sure what's going on. These Marines are doing a lot of damage. Nara is not focus firing because these Marines are stimmed. If he focus fires, he'll probably lose a lot of Dragoons too. He lost two Dragoons, only picked off one Marine. There is a shuttle. There are going to be Reavers very shortly. I can't believe what's going on. These Marines are doing a lot of damage, but there is a Reaver coming out. The Reaver is going to start making Scarabs, and uh, the expansion that was trying to be uh, created is going to go down. It was scouted, and now we see that Up Magic is going to start pushing up. A Reaver Scarab has been fired off. Lots of these Marines are going out, and these uh, and Up Magic is forced to retreat. Uh, let me pause this, sorry.